arrived at Dan's step. We fought with them for a bit at the door because they wouldn't open it. And they did. We went in. Got catcalled by a bunch of disgusting men. Sat in a room for about 45 minutes to an hour waiting for this man we needed to bring this net to. Two. Then proceeded to wait a little bit more. And we gave it to him. And then he sent us off on our merry way. It's like the last time we went to Dunstead. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, last that's right. Time. You had caused quite a ruckus, if I remember correctly. Sadly, they're always fighting amongst themselves, it seems. Even when we went this time, I kept my head down and my mouth shut, because I knew it's what gets me in trouble. And they still fought to shed blood between each other. Saw it with I my see. own eyes. Hmm. Were we not supposed to go to Dunstead, sir? It's not so much that you went to Dunstead. It's that you carry the letter full of treasonous poison. That's True. the problem. Do not worry your mind about it. This is something that will be taken care of in time. Through the he wouldn't deliver hand. that if he knew. Kay's not the type of person. He doesn't just take whatever. I will find out if that is the case. I promise. I really hope that's not what it is. I didn't. Sorry. I keep getting put into difficult positions due to the actions of a few. Perhaps I have been too kind to this point. I think that might be it. I think my abhorrence of violence has made me forget that sometimes it is necessary. Do you think that is the case, Saturday? I think violence is going to wind you up in a worse situation. Actually. I'm curious as to why you're making that. May I speak freely in front of your men, as well as my men? Mm -hmm. There are people that want you dead. Now. <laughs> that are in positions of power there in this place. Many, many people who want me dead. And have for decades. But here I am, and their houses are no more. What about a church? Hmm. What about a god? I will play my politics with the church if I must. And there they speak blaspheme on your name and want you dead and say it in the streets as such. <laughs> I think you're directing your violence you like to the to wrong see... people. My answer to that. I would actually want to know what you're doing about it. Know what this is?
Right. Apologies for assuming you hadn't already handled your business. What of you? Is there anything that stood out to you when you were at Dunstead? Something that did not seem right? I was trying to keep my uh, eyes to the ground, so as she said, the people there were not savory people, and they were especially not savory towards the drow. I was just trying to keep my nose clean. Mirandel could learn from you. He puts his nose in every little nook and cranny he can find. He's going to lose everything on his head that he keeps up at this pit. Oh, you know what they say about curiosity. <clears throat> Mirandelle has had another raven go missing. He told me himself. But he also has not stated that he has sent any earth. I actually did see something that I was going to report. Good. You may keep her in the corner. The scribe was quite shaken up this morning. As I was walking up to her scribery to go find my counterpart, who was doing his homework, a guard was coming down. He had a spear, and he was up there by himself. When we went back up there, the window was open, a raven gone. Things messed with. I am aware we hadn't, we hadn't the even one returned. missing raven. But the numbers do not add up, Saturday. There are two ravens missing. And only a report of one being sent without Mirandale's consent. He mentioned nothing else to me. Is there something that either of you two would be privy to that perhaps the good scribe forgot to impart upon me? I've been doing my best Didn't to keep an eye on... Didn't one of them catch fire? Did one of what? Didn't one of them catch fire? Not to a fucking candle. Caught something on fire this morning, but I don't know what it was, but... Just trying to think, are there two birds in there or not? I have been trying to keep my eye on the scribery. He mentioned that people have been going in there without his permission. Um, this new assistant's been up there too, and I've been asking him if he'd seen anything. Um, I heard rumours today that there was a woman that went up there without anyone being there. I heard it from really? someone who heard it from a guard, yes. I tried to find the guard, but couldn't actually get in contact with them. Went up to the scribe's assistant, asked him if he'd seen anything, and he said no, he hadn't. That happened today. That's all I can think of, though. I see. A shame. Hmm. All right then, Kyla. You are free to go. Well, uh, my sword, please. Make sure you are gentlemanly, royal guardsmen, and escort him all the way up. Take your wish advisor. <clears throat> Thank you.
optimistic, Hayler. Good evening, Xavier. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's okay. That's good. If you're looking for Mr. Mirandol, I don't quite know where he is. I'm That's sure he's okay. outside. I'll be waiting around here. Hopefully he sees me. Upstairs, actually. No, I just checked Talk up there. He's not there. Yeah, I don't know. He could be so anywhere. People say that they want to have a. That's why people say they want to have a conversation, and they make themselves not available. Uh -huh. If it's simply <clears throat> having an eventful day. It's being pulled everywhere, I suppose. What else is new? Hi, Miss Yendo. Not much. Hello, Xavier. It's good to see you up and walking. I am. Uh, for some <laughs> definitions, at least. Just trying to. Th Get a grasp on everything that has been happening in the past day, because when you miss a whole day, it seems like everything that you left is nowhere close to where you had it. Hmm. Not a single boring day in Letford. <sighs> Sometimes I wish there were. I really do. <laughs> Believe me. Life would be better here if there wasn't so much going on all the time sometimes. Mm. Nobody being gone for no reason now, nowhere. People not getting pulled 50 different directions in the <laughs> amount of time they have in the day. Oh, that would be nice. I mean. I guess you could switch places with me. It gets pretty boring in the kitchen. You don't really know what's oh, going my on. Days so just... oh, my days can be decently boring if, if so long as people are actually doing what they're supposed to and not getting themselves hurt. Mm. When people are getting hurt, the day is quite exciting. It just... At that point, you don't want it to be exciting. Mm. It seems like just about everybody doesn't want to talk about anything today. They're just... I have a feeling I know what's happening. Things, but then when you ask them if anything's wrong, they say not to worry about it. After a while, when everyone says that to you, you start to worry about it quite a bit. Mm. Yeah, I have a feeling. No. I would know the most about keeping secrets. So I understand them to a degree. Because it's like, just like I mean, you said, yeah, can't help worrying. It's hard to watch out for people when they don't give you an opportunity to actually do something to help them. Right. And then when you and then when you actually do, no one said even see it, so they don't even know what happened. Mm. We, we all live in the same town. We're supposed to watch each other's backs, right? Six That's clips idea. already. In practice, it doesn't always seem to work out <laughs> that way. Or you could just not meta at all. Just enjoy this, like anything that you see in anyone else's stream, don't talk about here. <clears throat> you don't need to push the boundaries, because I will just straight up ban you, because that's kind of dicky. I know things aren't exactly great out here. 
that still seems like the biggest sign of the times is how distant a lot of people seem to be. They could be right next to each other and yet they don't want to. They could have nothing to do with each other when they used to. I suppose that's just me and my practically infinite. Oh. I guess he left. So I just talk to myself the whole time now. Awkward. I'll leave you be. Something tells me we'll probably be seeing each other later tonight anyways. Fingers crossed. Yep. I am pretty sure I know what's happening. <laughs> but. Chat, I'm so tired. This is day three of like a four day long RP, essentially. I'm exhausted. as if you're the character. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Get that immersion. Yeah, I mean, by all means, like, I encourage you guys to watch all the other perspectives and stuff. Like, this whole metaverse of different char characters interacting in this one area. It's really, really cool. If you guys don't uh, already know, at the bottom of the stream, there's actually a uh, little button that says Fractured Thrones. Shut the fuck up. You click on this little link down here. It takes you to everyone else who is live right now. So there's uh, Awen, Gambit. Brunswick, obviously, myself, uh, Trapman, who does um, Baylor and Captain Amelia, Spearmint, who's Faye, Falcona, who's uh, Cerevith, Lauren, who's Cat, uh, Ariana, who is the Dryad, Bringus, the Scribe Mirandel, Maple, it's Tarek, uh, and a few other people too. So, Plagas. More tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's, well, yeah. Tomorrow's Callus Row, but I don't think I'll be streaming that. I will be in it, though. Yeah, I will be doing Callus Road tomorrow. I just probably won't be streaming it. <laughs> I 
How's my day been? It's pretty good. Pretty chill. Callus Row is another roleplay that's set in, um... It's like a cyberpunk-themed one. A lot more characters. Uh, a lot more, uh, like, people involved with it and stuff. DM'd very differently as well. So. It's very good. Kind of to keep up. The best bet is to just watch one perspective and roll with it as a viewer. But because there's so much going on, there's so many different things you can be looking at, you know? So many different story lines and all that. It is a little overwhelming. Callous Thrones. Fractured the Fractured Row. I honestly thought when Mirandel, uh, when Fulgrith was like, oh. Come. <laughs> I don't suppose she'll be leaving either, will she? <laughs> <laughs> of course not, why would she? Of course. She's set. Oh, Soren's cooking pizza. I can fucking smell that shit, bro. We need to wash your hands. No. Okay. What My happened, hands are perfectly stand the way they are. You're gonna see blood underneath her fingernails, going up her arms, kind of splashed on her outfit. I expected as much. Thank you very much, Doctor. Surgeon. I've got to take care of some things that I really wanted well to take well. care of for a very long time. As a gift? <sighs> yes, as a gift. Don't worry. Come, I don't want to talk. Because I won't be seeing her around again. Andal, you would notice she's covered in blood. Oh, anyway. Uh, so there wasn't so any sort of cave that it seems, she's in so blood. nothing to be worried about. Okay. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. Are you really going to... Drow? Why would you say I couldn't quite hear you? He's got blood away. If you look at me, I got blood all over me. Uh, that's oh, pretty cool. The Royal Guard, or Adam Is that yours? Have done it yourself? Sure. I imagine he didn't really exactly have any diving okay. eyes with him, considering I heard that one of those acolytes were pearl, pulled aside. If you do not mind me asking, what have you done this time? In the name of Mithrax, I have done this town a good deed. What? <laughs> Maybe they cut the scribe's other ear off. Don't worry, the blind fuck's still alive. Somehow. Hopefully. Maybe I should wash myself off. Yeah. Where's Cade? I'm not sure. About the good news. Is it a good idea to be putting it out there? <laughs> I don't give a shit. Other people might. Boo fucking who will kill them too. Maybe that'll be my next reward. Being a good little drow. Hopefully when we leave for Adwick, we don't come back. Do 
you see her, she's covered in blood. <clears throat> what are they talking about in there? In where? In here? Mm. Why are they pulling people? Because we went to Dunstead. We're reporting to the advice. Why not? Nothing's wrong. We're all alive, look. This isn't my blood. <laughs> have you seen Cade? Yes, we have seen that I have not, actually, in quite a while. Why? If you look at her, she's covered in blood. Uh, what? Uh, is that yours? Sarah, what happened? Please do not tell me. Yes. Huh? What did you do? Uh, me, what did you, you do? What did you do? Apparently you don't want to know. I don't want to know! I don't know better, I feel like you were purposely trying to show people. Let's wash your hands. But I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. Did you fuck and kill? No. But Sorry, the blind one's fine. No, the other one. I don't care about- Come on, walk and talk Ooh. away from the fucking eyes and ears, stupid. The other one's like, spouting. Are they still taxing us? No. Mm -hmm. I want them to know. Alive. Yes, he's yes. fine. I did not fucking kill Mirandol. Why would I be boasting about that? I don't know. What did you do? Go check the- <laughs> Go check the scribery. Flings blood on you. Just go check the scribery. <laughs> Don't make me oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, let me wipe it off for you. you no, 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 Understand. This is part of our culture. It's not something we try to hide. Don't be so fucking wishy wishy washy. Wishy washy? You wanna learn how to be a drow? Just watch me exist. Up until you don't. <laughs> I'm going to run away far before that man turns his fucking things to me. Who knows? Maybe he won't. Maybe he likes me just enough to keep me around. Maybe he already has. Already has what? Some his fangs are... <laughs> I'm not some normal girl you dated before. Kinda. I would hope not. <sighs> I'm a fucking drow. Full bred. Oh shit, I didn't notice. From the Underdark. I'm going to beat your ass. Splash. There, yeah, there, there. All the blood's gone, except for the ones on my clothes. Can't really do much about that, but it's off my skin! There's still, like, some on her neck that she didn't get. Yeah. What? Got some on your neck. Oh, it's cold. Yes. <laughs> It's not <laughs> Flicks over. Oh, violated. No, not that, you fucking idiot. Smack butt. <laughs> no. No. Does it feel good, Sarah? No. No. You try to have a serious moment. Uh, Sarah, you did never learn to read or write, did you? Um, I've been trying to figure out some of the very <laughs> basic letters, but it's not really something I'm able to do on my own. Truth be told, they always seem to got it. Got it. It's, it, okay, I think I have my answer. The whole habit they have of just flying off the page and rearranging themselves <laughs> is rather difficult. Nothing. You're ignoring me. It's fine. 
I'm not ignoring you. What did you say? I'm did on cloud feel... nine right Good. now. What? Okay, there you go. That's my answer. Yes, it felt fucking amazing. What? Say what? His Majesty I pooped. Is in the outer courtyard. What? Gavis. Apparently, the prince is in the outer courtyard, and we're not allowed in. But the prince and his royal guard entourage is in the outer courtyard. Oh, good for him. Teach you how to say fuck that I and go in there anyway. I'm sorry. What though. felt good? I pooped. Let's go look at the prince. Have fun. Uh, I don't think we can go. We can't. We can't even get in there. I just said. Would you like to? Do you hear when the guards back get done staying in quiet? If I was breeding drow. Yeah, I confirmed it for them. I'll breed you, bitch. Oh god. <sighs> Sorry, I'm in a bit. Would you read a visual a novel moment. about? Oh, no, I already asked you about this. Never mind. Probably not. No. Oh. <laughs> Not my style. Hey, what the fuck does this say? That's what it says. Mm. This motherfucker. I I don't understand. I don't. Did she just lay down? Yes. So it's hard to see, but I. Uh, well. Well, I try not to panic. I will be happy that she is a starfish. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Oh my god. I'm amazed you deal with this. Your patience is immeasurable. Wouldn't say that. It's not endless. <laughs> Fair enough. You seem a little bit more stone cold than she is. Is everything alright? Or is your patience wearing thin? Things are different now. Are they? Well, apologies. You need someone to talk about it? I'm always here. Mm-hmm. Should I... <sighs> no, it's fine. Fucking hell. By the way, did you end up catching up with those, uh, lovely blueberries? And they were looking for you. Blueberries? Yeah, they were all gone, so I'm trying to... Yes. Yes, we did. How was that? Pleasant, I suppose. More pleasant for some than others. I see. Some and others. Whew. Rocky territory. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sense of a lot of things here. I'm not sure how to respond. Uh, Kylo. It's totally fine. I don't blame you in the slightest. We're also running on a little sleep. Yes? Do you mind, Kylo, if I have a chat with you in Arn's house? About? Or somewhere. Um. Something you might want to hear. And, uh, Tarek, you may wish to hear it as well. Yes. I don't think I use it much for anything else right now lately. You wouldn't mind? I wouldn't mind. It's not like I'm going to steal from you. <clears throat> I'd appreciate that if I could... Move on. The walls have ears, so I cannot be too loud, nor can I be too detailed. But it 
someone of import. I seen somewhere very important. Leaving a certain room, two doors on the left. And from what I remember hearing, they left bloody. Who? Where? You have to be a bit more specific. Yes, you have to just say it straight. One moment. You don't have any crows left in the rafters, do you? No. The walls have years less. Especially now. And I heard that the Lord Fulgrith has... Or, advisor Fulgrith, sorry. And um, the Lord Gavis are currently in the inner courtyard. Yes. Um, but I'm curious. What, who, and where? Someone of import, you could say. Someone of um, who? We're currently surrounded by a pack of wolves in the forest, as you know. You could say that their alpha was seen conversing with a spider in the lion's den. I leave it vague, I leave it simple. Do you guys understand this? I'm blonde. Barely. Wolves. I know that much. Ugh. <sighs> The den of a lion might we take a stroll? Snake. Might we take a stroll through the woods? I think that would be no, a good idea. No, God, that's a terrible idea. I'd rather be safer in here. Because you need to help. Thank you. Against some herbs. Hmm. You're not getting the herbs, really. We're gonna go. Well, I guess we we'll could. Go Need it not. I remind you. Wasn't it you who said that? Even the forest has ears? I'm not going there. I'm just tired of this fucking nonsense. I'm tired of being dragged around and being told shit I already know. Okay, thank you. I'm... I don't understand. The door slam shut, I'll be right back. It's a bell or something. Hmm. Sergeant. Yeah. How are your well, injuries? Like... Yeah, surgeon patched it up nice and the plate stopped the bolt mostly. Fucking cowards. Fuck my liver, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> oh, poor I forgot. I'm sure you know these people better than I do. <laughs> it's all their coin together. It's about eight silver. From the townsfolk. Whatever the... Whatever the guards were taxing them, their elf tax. Hmm. It's very noble of you. Do with that as you will. Noble? No. If it was anyone else, I would have just pocketed it, but... The guards are cunts, and I feel like the best way to get back at them is to not only beat their asses, but to give the money back to the very people they stole from. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk to you about potentially joining the Iron Wolves. I've seen you guys in action. I've seen what you guys do. I'm interested. 
joining the Iron Wolves. Or something similar. We're going to talk similar. about that. Let's go sit down. Good idea. I've been standing all fucking day. Ditto. It's my favorite Pokemon map. <clears throat> Now, what on earth makes you want to join the Iron Wolves? Money, adventure. Fucking sick and tired of this place. Money and adventure. You know it's not all that, right? Most of it's, it's standing around doing adventure. fucking nothing. Which ain't too bad, neither, really. Considering how much the Lord will pay if he thinks you're keeping him safe and not fucking his wife. <laughs> Sometimes you get both. Those are the best contracts, in my opinion. Hmm. <clears throat> what sort of contracts? Not that I'd ever do that to Lord Cornwall. Yeah, he seems like a very uh, generous man. What if you asked him? He is, actually. <laughs> asked him to fuck his wife. <laughs> I jest. I don't know. The bastard might say yes. I Maybe don't know anything about him. I've seen him a few times. Maybe he is. There's a rumor that that uh, woman in the red dress, <laughs> apparently she pegged him. Really? That's what I heard. Don't know how true it is, but fuck, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh god, I've got that image in my head now. Thanks for that. Yeah, imagine that fat bastard with his ankles up by his ears. Oh, I'd rather not. <laughs> so, I've only seen small bits of what the Iron Wolves do, i.e. guarding places like this. What other contracts are we talking about? You want real answers or the ones that they tell people so they join? What do you think? Do I look like the I kind of drow? I think shit to want the actual answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Depends on the mercenary. Most mercs pick up whatever work they can. Sometimes it could be nothing short of banditry, really, that you get paid for. The iron wolves are a bit of a cut above the others. They're very... picky about their contracts because they get paid well. But, um... There are times when there can be a uh, contract that comes from a lord to send a message to someone in their family or exterminate a bunch of people in an area to get back at somebody else, destroy a business, unsavory thing. Mm -hmm. Things a uh, man's not really proud about, but coin is coin, and if you're able to make peace with yourself, that if you didn't do it, somebody else would, and at least you get paid for it, then turn your heart off and do it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Uh, makes total sense. And I assume Cornwall's uh, hired on you all for the various guilds around. Makes sense to keep it all in the same sort of company, right? Surprisingly enough, I hmm. He uh, has hired almost the entirety of the Iron Wolves. He says he handpicks well, people too. Of Castle, I heard that. Aye. For uh, those personally protecting him and those acting as either officers or uh, staff at his guild halls. Mm. He's an interesting man and wealthy. Mm. So take that as you will. Mm -hmm. Can't ride a horse for shit, though. <laughs> no, he fucking can't. You know, that bastard gets so drunk. Everyone else keeps uh, like rations and such on the side of their uh, side of their horses. This man keeps half kegs. Gives his horse wine too. Really? No wonder she's always bucking him by accident. Oh yeah, he's a bloody idiot. Hmm. But he pays well. That's all that matters, right? But he pays well. Mm. Again, depends on the mercenary. Right. You want to make a reputation for yourself in order to get the big money, right? Well, for instance, let's say there's a man who 
wanted to pay me silver for killing a man. Mm -hmm. Then I go to that man, depending on how I perceive him. Maybe I'll just kill him and take the silver. Or I go to the man and I'm like, look, so-and-so wants you dead. You pay me a double, I'll deny him and I'll protect you. Hmm? Hmm? To mark it. But there's a fine line there. The people start to think that you won't complete your contracts and you might double stab somebody or go behind their back. You're never going to get hired again. So Makes you have sense. To be careful how you pick and choose your battles. Hmm. What's the uh, recruitment process like? Yeah. Usually it's done strictly out of Hardwick. Mm. And uh, what they do is they have you register there with the liaison. And they evaluate what it is that you, uh, how do I put this kindly, can afford. Divorces. Do roll a D20 chat. Sometimes PTSD kicks in, forgive me. Mm -hmm. What were you saying? What was uh, asking saying? about recruiting process. Right. He said it normally process. comes out of Adwick and... Oh uh, yeah, they'd evaluate your wealth currently and what kind of gear you could get yourself because if you get a mercenary and he's equipped like shit, he's not really worth much. Huh. Uh, some boys hide themselves. Uh, they don't have skill, but they try to make up for it by buying good gear, and they get themselves killed. Mm -hmm. Free gear for the rest of us, but no one likes a wolf dying. Mm -hmm. So, if you're asking what would happen here, well, I'd have to send a letter with uh, your information over to uh, Adwick to get you put into the books there. And you'd be operating out of this guild house, and any contracts we have here would also be forwarded to you. You'd be operating as a squad, usually six men. Or uh, if we are to accompany a lord somewhere, or Cornwall himself, or uh, take care of business, as I specified before. Mm. Payment usually comes from the one who posted the contract, or the one we have the contract with. So, for instance, Lord Cornwall pays his hand-picked iron wolves two silver a week, and that is locked away somewhere and is brought via courier. Obviously, they won't risk all the money. Mm -hmm. So, we'd have to uh, get your weapons and armor. That's not this. I was going to ask that. I'm not really. Uh, well, my skill set's more suited to quieter attacks plate mail doesn't I was gonna ask if you're from fucking Gravia that sword's curved <clears throat> is it? I thought I straightened it out fuck yeah. maybe it's the lining hmm well I actually made this one believe it or not that would explain the quality <laughs> I was drunk at the time you made that thing piss drunk drunk you yeah. made a sword drunk have a look Have you made anything before? Nope. First thing. Ever made. Carver. With gloves that were way too big shit. on me, and I was shit drunk at the time. Shit face drunk, and you made this fucking thing? Mm hmm. That's not bad, really. I had good help. Ah. It's a nice, uh. starting blade, I guess. Mm hmm. How sharp is it? <coughs> Pretty fucking sharp. Mm hmm. Sharpened it myself as well. Very nice. Hmm. Um, something to be proud of, I guess. But uh, I would advise against making <laughs> anything like that and then trying to join the wolves. It's more of uh, sentimental value. Good memories attached. Huh. 
I see. Well. The question still stands, is there a place for someone who's not as, uh... Let's see, someone who's more of a uh, scalpel than a hammer. Yeah, I was about to say, you strike me a bit as, um... I don't want to use the word weak. Uh, you look smaller than most. Mm -hmm. uh, so probably faster. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly see you wearing plate. No. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, there's always a place for someone who can do things quietly. Mm -hmm. But those jobs are usually the most unsavory. Mm -hmm. I expect it as such. Now, if that bothers you, I'd tell you not to look into it, but if it's something that you could put behind you. I recently stopped caring about that kind of thing. Uh, on the, uh, particular reason? Just tired. Tired of being manipulated, used. Or other things be more, more simple. Out of politics and bullshit. Realizing how fragile people can be, I suppose. I eh? suppose so. Yeah, life can be shit, that's for sure. Mm. It depends entirely on the uh, kind of people you come across, I guess. Or the people you keep close to you. That's why I like mercenary work. Mm. We know what we're doing. Yes. We don't like it together, but I don't know. I trust them not to stab me in my back. Mm. That's uh, in a better position than I'm at. I thought the people here were close. You always seem to be gaggle fucking about and drinking every night. Yeah, it seems like that. A lot of things happening beneath the surface, though. A lot of things I get pulled into. That I don't want to be a part of. A lot of people who don't think. People who are abrasive. Now, you say that. But would the thing that you don't like doing now be okay if you were being paid silver for it? Sure. It's more simple that way. I'm just doing a fucking job. You might be better off as a mercenary, mate. Mm-hmm. That's what piqued my interest. Well... Something to think about. Yes. If you decide that's what you want, you tell me. And I will tell Mr. Mersk, I'll give him the information on you you give me. Mm -hmm. There is a fee. Mm -hmm. 25 copper. Oh, and, uh, when that gets sent in, they record your name. Send us back a missive letting us know that you're good to go and registered. And then in, you're in. Mm. We'll have to get you arms and armor. Maybe not armor, but mm. arms. For surely. And, uh, yeah. What happens after that? Be able to work alongside all. Just operate out of the guild hall. Find a squad. It would be a, it'd be a bit of a different case. Yeah, there's about twelve of us. Uh, two squads. Hmm. Um, and there's the captain himself. Uh, if I act as a sergeant, uh. Depending on the contract, sometimes one rotates to keep guard here and the other rotates to go out on the contract. Okay. I definitely think about it. I do appreciate you and being as honest as you have been. Exactly what I was looking for. Uh, Tired of people being wishy washy. I wish somebody was that honest with me. <laughs> you regret signing you can up? Imagine, I thought I was. No, not anymore. But at first, I was starry eyed. And, mm. uh,. I always wanted to be a knight, <laughs> but I knew I couldn't. Mm -hmm. That's reserved for the noble folk. So I thought a mercenary would be better people, you know, pay me to protect them, and I'm, I felt good about that. <laughs> I've been paid to overturn wagons and set fire to peasants' huts and kill women in the night. Wasn't a good feeling, to be honest. Mm. But made money and as long as I ignored the uh, 
the thoughts. I live a relatively good life, I guess. Hmm. Uh, I didn't catch your name. Name's Blaze. Blaze. Sergeant Blaze. Sergeant Blaze. Pleasure. I am Kyla. Yeah. <sighs> I've grown fond of calling you purple one, but Kyla it is then. Whatever works. <sighs> yeah, I suppose if I say that I'll sound superstitious. <laughs> Fucking everyone else here is. You'd be fitting in. Hmm. Alright. Burial Blaze. I'll be seeing you. No, if I see you first. <laughs> oh. Uh Never mind. I'll go ahead. I will see you when you come back. You can't do that and then not say anything. Keep my interest now. Uh, or is this Merc talk? Some things are... Remember I said some things are good for business. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a elf boy I've spoken to a few times. Has a black eye and missing one ear. Mm hmm. You know him? He's a scribe. Uh, if you see him, I'd like to talk to him. Okay. A savory talk? Or not for me to know. I don't know yet. Very well. It's a talk I'd like to have to him, but it might turn out to be business. Okay. Hope he's uh, not too much of a friend of yours. Yeah. Everyone dies eventually. I'll be left to bury them. I just make sure you're the one standing there. Hey, you what? What have we done? Uh, Give uh, us. Out of the bottle? It'd be fine, right? I don't know, this redhead sees him. Okay. <laughs> Seems like the <laughs> learning by what now. How you blue? Hmm. Oh my, looks like the nighttime game. pretty eyes you got there. Oh, I'm gonna take... oh, you can't take the redhead? Do feisty for you? Hi, Mr. Kyler. Hmm. Well, Let's can hey. you please let me employees work? <laughs> it seems to be getting a bit busy up front. Hmm. I would pay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, of course. You're just in time. For the time. Oh, we're gonna do. We're love this. Pay. Oh, it's a going. Oh, good. Oh, wait, <laughs> well, that's up to them if they... It's up to them if they accept. Not 20, it's What do you really say, good. lass? Can I still have oh, oh, your time? It gets my seal of approval. I'm missing the guy. I'm missing the king. It's kind of delicious. No, it's a business, isn't it? Seven people. Well, seems... Uh, may I speak with you in private? In a moment. Ones that I've hired not specifically to be waitresses, that's about, uh, the oh, kind. You're fucking kidding. Yeah, me. You the wrong idea. It's still denying us anyway, so whatever. Mm. Alright. Now we can speak in private. Uh, is oh, there wow. a private room here? This is actually quite lovely. Uh, cellar's actually probably the most private. It's, it's not room. that private, it's just, well, we can speak quietly. Oh. Oh, in that case, my office is fine. Okay. Nikolai did, actually. I can vouch, it was delicious. Hey. Here is... 
Five silver. This is the money that the guard shook down from everyone today with their bullshit tax thing. Please distribute it as you see. You know the people better than I do. Don't ask questions you don't want to know. And I don't want this to be tied to me, lad. It's not. Well, they're building a quarry and I'm helping construct and also learn how they do their business. <sighs> I can't be yelling if I don't know how people work. I can at least tell you who oh, had yeah. to pay the tax. For some reason. Hmm? I don't really feel like running around and chasing people to give their money back. If you happen to see them. And I don't feel it. Like, and I don't feel like having money that ain't rightfully supposed to be here. Yes, it's supposed to be in the pockets of the people the guards took it from. And you know that. I... I do. But those guards are right out there, lad. And I don't want this to be tied to me at all. Thank you. Who about Elrid host? Eowyn. Just the elves? Elrid Eowyn. Aye, it's only the elves and the dwarves. Okay. Eowyn was taxed 50 copper. Okay. Very well. Thank you. Yeah, but still, even no helmet can protect you against that. Thank you, Faye. That was lovely. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. You can just leave money on paper like usual. Oh, better get back to you. Well, it should be part of the. Have you seen Awen around? Awen? Mm -hmm. Don't believe I have. But there are quite a lot of people at the finding area, if you want to check. Appreciate it. Oh, I can't see things, they're too far. Oh, this is a lesson for you in empathy. Can we, can, can we fucking gut her after that statement? Yeah, gut her. Go oh, ahead. look. All right. This All right. looks like a regular sized right. dagger to me, but for like a half leg, you know. Uh oh. So oh, shit. <laughs> can you fucking get over the fence, I go on, do it. it. Ah, she ran off. I don't care anymore. Don't even see them. You're close to dying very much. You're one roll away from passing away. He's going to check the the rest the rest of the very little supplies that he has. He's going to try and find some like very small rations from it. Rolling. The one time that Justin wants to go any faster. Plus twelve. You find some syringes, some bandages, and a little small stitch box. Shit.
Is Eowyn in a public place? Like that people would see him, or is he being is he being sneaky stuff? <clears throat> I don't know, like, you know. Yeah, thank you. My drow eyes would see that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> fucking smell it! Hey, <laughs> oh, had a bit of an issue with him for a little, few days right. now. You walk with me for three seconds. Yes, sir. Certainly, I had questions for you anyway. Do you? great. Yes. So, on your. On your travels to uh, fall, talk with Felgrith, are there many doors on the way to his quarters? Three in total. Interesting. They're pretty well secured. You know, some on the left and some on the right. Well, well before you get yourself killed, I heard you attacks today. Yes. How much were you taxed for? <laughs> One silver and fifty copper. Really? Yes. One silver and fifty copper. Thankfully, Nicholas, in his infinite generosity, lent me the money. <sighs> what would we do without that dwarf? You sure it wasn't just fifty copper? I'm very sure. Mm, okay. Well, here's your silver back. It's Let's... start. <laughs> <laughs> well. Straight from the guards, too. Well. Very nice, very nice. Do you know who else got taxed? And was it just the elves and the dwarves? No, just the elves. Just the elves. Mm hmm. Right. didn't expect to see them and it's oh hmm. you're all taxed today right going in and out of the city yes how much were you taxed for yeah 50 copper 15 or they were pretty nice about it they I don't know why, but uh, kind of creepy in a sense, but yeah. You said 15? Mm. 15. Yeah, the same yeah. as you? But, mm. okay, well, here's your 50 copper back. Here's your 15. Uh, oh. And here's your 15. Where'd you even get this from? People that took it from you. It's best not to ask. But... Um, excuse me. No. Hey. Excuse me. Mm. No. 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 It's here. That's a very stupid thing to do. Well, I'm offering it anyway. I have plenty of money for myself. About giving back. I really. Uh, You're worried about what's going to come it, with it if you hang on to the money. 
No. It's just I believe about that money should be earned by hard work, and I... Was that your just money? Just money, just... No, well, this, no, it's yours. The money you were taken from, was it yours, and did you earn it with hard work? Yes. Okay. That is your money. That isn't mine. I'm just giving it back. And I'm not being uh, facetious when I say that. It is literally your coins right there. Why... Why are you doing this just by curiosity? There's still some good in me left. Enjoy. Faye. I'm sorry. I need mm. more time. Have a moment. Kinda. Oh, go mm, sure. I'll be there in like three seconds. Were you taxed today? Oh, sure. Keep watching here. Yeah, I paid him a hundred copper fifty for the elf guy that was console. with me. It was, we were taking class. Is this over? Oh. oh. Before you Thank get you. all weird about it, that's literally yours. Mm. Yeah, I know. I'm coming. Pushing with the arm of the dummy, right? Just keep pulling into your arm the strain. Do it in intervals and breathe outward, like so. Right. Push and breathe out. <laughs> right. Never oh. forget to breathe. If you lose your breath. <clears throat> Maya. Fuck. Ha. 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 Were you taxed today by any chance? Yes. But then they didn't take any. Because I just. Oh, they didn't take any? Well, it's well, well, because I left. Because they wouldn't. Permit me into the castle walls, so... There you go. A total of four elves were charged while I was there. in the front. Where I think that's strength two silver total that they took from the same thing as you a handful of elves. But now I'm going to they tried to take one silver from me. Awen. Your job is to time it perfectly to resist Guy, the his name I've forgotten. Ready? Mirandel? Right. Just under I'm the not sure. Here. However, um... Understood. And there's, there's another uh, elven. Pushing upwards. Now, now oh, yeah. I'm gonna strike the haft. Uh, Very hard. Ready? I'm not, I'm not sure specifically like I'm not who is who is taxed. I'm not gonna tell you. That's fine. Time like I was supposed to. Read out every time I strike. Thank you. Ready? I appreciate it. But at least two. <laughs> no problem. Thank you, Tyler. Breathe. Maybe get a smaller spear. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let your arm strain. Excuse me. Kai, I need a favor. Okay. Do you happen to own a spare pipe? Pipe? Yes, the pipe weed. No, I don't smoke from the pipe. Oh, fuck. I think Baylor has one. If you borrow. One of the guards walked up to me and handed me his pipe earlier without a word and walked away. I assumed he was giving it to me. It's exchanged hands since then and now he's asking for it back. Oh. So. No. Try and find cats, because she was the last one I know that had it. Mm hmm Alright. Said so they'll throw me in the dungeon if I don't bring it back, so... I'll not do that. Rude. Yeah, well, that's the guards for you. Cats in the front gate. What? The priest? What's wrong?
have another as well. Alright. Mm. Tap tap. <sighs> what? What do you ask? Oh, hello, Kana. Oh, no, nice. it's just, you know, nice oh, to know who are these around and who we're dealing with. No, they didn't tax me because I'm a half elf. Mm -hmm. Some other company could come by, then, right. you know, causing huh. ruckus, and we could confuse you. Who you tax today? That would be uh, quite, quite unfortunate. Well, all the companies are different by their help. Davia. Hmm. Davia. Hello, dear. Dear. Yes. <laughs> the priest just killed himself. Oh. Huh? Okay. I can confirm he's dead. Okay. Uh, Xavier, hmm. did you get text today? Uh-uh. Okay. Well. Cool. You took that well. I don't care. Knock, knock, knock. What happened? Here, that's fine. An empty open tomb. This area was for important people. How do you do it? One, I don't know where to put them. Two. He was important. Hmm. What happened? Took his own life. His past overcame him. Full of torture, despair, anguish, agony. It was too much for him. He... have done it but he fought back he wanted to take his life and he was determined to do so when he did <sighs> I tried I really did you always do what's best Soma no one ever doubts that I had a chance. I could have. Sometimes we lose Even your chances. Even though with Soma, 
It's what we do with what's left over that fucking matters. He's right. Don't put it on yourself. For another man's choice. You do what you can, everyone knows that. No one's gonna blame you for this except for yourself, Soma. Are they still in the house? I just don't have to peek in again. Hmm. Hmm? Evening. Did she find you? Sarah? No. Yes. I was up in the graveyard. Burying the priest. <laughs> I heard about that. Killed himself. Um, yeah, so I heard. You look rather upset at the moment. Sad? Just so you know. Yeah, you look sad. That's upsetting. I was having some very serious conversations. I'd imagine. How's that? Better! Better. Thanks for actually sad. telling me, Cade. What's going on? Ah, uh, Service was looking for you. I'll try and find her. I need to find Morgrim. Morgrim. <laughs> okay. No more uh, telling me where people are. I got what I needed. Thank you. I don't want to, like, overuse it. It's only for, you know, just trying to figure out if I need to waste my time for 30 minutes sitting outside the fucking... Else. You're right, it's a dangerous room and a spread as well. Ben? We gotta figure something out. You won't be we need to find Tyler right, right now. Did you I get the? Name. He's right behind you. Right oh! Behind. Beautiful man. I need to speak to you right now. Very well. Hmm. Kate. Kate. Yes. If you don't, I need you to... Holy fuck, you are quiet. It's the- it's the room. <sighs> mm-hmm. We know where Oz... Say again. We know where On is. Where is he? He's here. Morgrith took him. It's just a theory, but... Things that Morgan was telling me was... Wait. The things that Morgan was telling me just lined up way too perfectly. He talked about a nest. A spider's nest. Second door on the left. That's where the hammer is being hidden. The jaws of the wolf were covered in blood as he left. Those mercenaries were hired by Morgrith to take him. In Fog's quarters right now. In the same fucking cell, well, same hallway that I just killed that Athite. He was right there. Right. 
Right. Can't act rationally. If we fuck up, if we get caught, we're dead. So is him. You understand? Mm. Not only would we die, so would him. And Morgrim. And everyone else. This stays between us. You don't tell Cade, Cat, Tarek, no one where he is. We will figure it out. We'll get him out soon. Okay? As you wish. We need to make a plan, Ernest. <laughs> Gonna get him out, okay? Tired, Sarah. I'm tired too. But we have millions and millions and millions of seconds and days to be tired. Now we have to act. And smart. I'm referring to him, call him the hammer. The missing one. Spoke to the sergeant of the mercenaries. You stay away from them from now on. He's been locked up. Has he? When? Just got taken away by the guards just now. He's in the dungeon. Hmm. What are you going to do? About? Just from this point on, what are you going to do? Sleep on it. I won't wake up to you being fucking effigied, will I? I don't know. 